Hello everybody, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today we're going to be talking about gut feelings or judgement. So I've seen this theme becoming popular online with, you know, following your gut feeling and your intuition and you know, if you meet somebody, this is the particular meme that I see going around and I see the same idea being uh, you know, propagated across the internet in different ways and the idea is this, if you meet somebody and you don't get a good feeling about them, and something doesn't seem right, and something is off center, then follow your gut feeling and move away, walk away from that person. You know, and that's basically this idea I've been seeing going away. That's it's okay to completely reject somebody or ignore them or to deny them any you know time or engagement. As, as long as you have a gut feeling about it, you should follow it, you know, and that justifies it. Now, I've seen a problem. I, I personally have a problem with this outlook, you know, because I think it would give a lot of free reign and a lot of reason for people who are paranoid or anxious, people who are judgmental and full of bias and just discriminate. And people that, you know, too, too heavily associate whoever they meet with other people that they've met. You know, like, oh, you've got long hair and uh, green eyes and a big nose. You remind me of this other guy I met who was a complete asshole. Therefore, when I first see you, my gut feeling tells me that you're a bit of an asshole and I should steer clear of you. You know, it gives a lot of reason for these kind of people to justify ignoring somebody, you know, and furthermore to even say, hey, blah, blah, psh, 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 to somebody else, psh, psh, yeah, that person over there, I don't get a good feeling, I'm not even going to bother. And then the other person will be, be all like, oh yeah, I'm not going to, thanks for pointing that out, I also feel a bit weird about that person. Personally, I think the world is full of judgment enough, you know, the world is full of fear enough. The last thing that I think anyone should be trying to do is giving people more reason to feel justified and even righteous, even righteous in uh, discriminating against somebody. I mean, how, how do you know? How do you know if it's really your gut feeling or your intuition? Because I do believe that, you know, there are times where you should listen to your intuition, yeah? That little voice inside you that knows best, you know? The little white dog at the knee of the fool. You should listen to its bark. It, it prevents you from walking off a cliff from time to time, you know? It prevents you from making mistakes. But I think it can be hard sometimes to differentiate one's intuition from bias, you know, and judgment. So what you might be thinking is intuition or a gut feeling you're getting when you meet someone, it might not even be anything about that person. It might be more about you and the kind of ideals that you are projecting and the kind of values that you are projecting onto that person because of your associations you've made with people in your past and previous encounters, you know? And I don't think it would be fair if, what if somebody was unfortunate, you know, unfortunate enough to, to look a bit weird, to look a bit odd, you know, just to be a bit odd, but maybe they're a nice person, what? Everyone's justified with this whole, oh, you should follow your intuition, you're totally righteous in doing that. It's totally justified that this person becomes outcasted, ostracized, you know, totally alienated just because you got to actually read between the lines and look beyond the surface to find out that they're an actual good person. I don't think that's really fair. So here's pretty much what I have to say to the follow your intuition and this justifies fucking off anyone that you think at first glance doesn't fit. I think that we shouldn't go by first glance with anything. I mean, sometimes when it's really obvious and there is something sticking out in a way that is, you know, so obvious that, you know, it's not even just a gut feeling, but it's like, okay, there's a sign, there's a clear indicator that it's a bad idea to, st to go there or to mingle with that person. Fair enough, you turn away and you, you do what's best for your preservation and your self-interest. But if, you know, if it's a lot more elusive and obscure and vague, and ambiguous, it's not as clear, you know, you just have a gut feeling and you're not, you're not sure why. You know, if it's about meeting somebody and, you know, you're, let's say you're at a party and it's about socializing and getting to know people, then I don't think having a gut feeling about someone really warrants 
um, the, you know, the idea in your head to exist that you already know that person enough and that's enough with them. Maybe if there's no signs sticking out so clearly that they're a little bit, you know, dangerous or toxic or whatever, have a conversation with them. Actually talk to them a bit, try to understand their nature and what they're about. And then see maybe that, you know, you might, you might find half the time that it wasn't actually your intuition or your gut feeling, but uh, it was just judgment that was clouding your vision. And if anyone, you might be the person that the other person should have had a gut feeling about. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just make sure not to get the two mixed up and confused. People are full of bias. They do tend to project their own fears and their own preferences onto everyone else, distorting all kinds of reality into what they can relate to and what they have related to in the past. There's a video on that about anchoring, and I think that, you know, if we, if we try to, to, to put off the impression that it's righteous to follow your intuition, some new age thing, I think that's actually going in the opposite direction and it's, it's increasing the divide between people and giving everyone a lot more reason to stay in their bubble and be a lot more discriminating as against people that might not even deserve it. As guys, remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends if you found this interesting and there's more videos on this channel uh, that you can have a squiz at or foodle for your noodle. So yeah, uh, have fun everyone, follow your intuition, but remember half the time, it's just fears in our head, and 99% of the fears that are in our head, they're just shadows of the real thing, and that real thing is somewhere inside, something that needs dealing with yourself. Thank you.